Talk show host Conan O'Brien revealed that over the weekend of October 24th, his studio was burglarized and the thieves robbed him of some very valuable items. That being said, it seems Conan, his co-host Andy Richter, and their field producer, Jason Chalemi, were all able to find some humor in the unfortunate situation at hand. As they say when life gives you lemons, cut them up and take a shot at tequila. Maybe that's just what I do. Who knows? Either way guys, welcome to Inform Overload. We make the news fun and entertaining while also informing you about all the crazy stuff going down. I'm your host Jared Bronstein, aka Ash Ketchum, and if you want to check out some of our other videos, we made a playlist just for you. Stick around to the very end of this one for some bonus content, but for now, let's get into it. Due to the pandemic, a lot of films, TV shows, and theater productions have been forced to go on hiatus. Like almost every other industry, the entertainment industry has also been hit incredibly hard, leaving creatives to scramble and either adapt or find other ways of supplementing their income. For almost all of the daytime or late night talk show hosts such as Ellen, the Jimmies, as in Kimmel and Fallon, and of course Conan, they have all found ways to keep their shows rolling. Ellen was filming at home for a period of time, as was Fallon. Kimmel rented an Airbnb at one point, but it seems now majority of the late night hosts have returned to their studios or at least rooms in the theater where it's safe to film. In fact, Conan was the first of the late night hosts to make the transition back to his studio, opting to temporarily film at the Largo Theater in Los Angeles. Although he normally filmed at Warner Brothers Studios, Conan decided to film at the Largo partially because the theater industry is hurting incredibly badly and likely also because Warner Brothers isn't allowing everyone back just yet, even though Ellen is now filming there. but. Who knows, it's Ellen, she does whatever she wants, guys. Let's be real, you know? Going back to Conan, he started his Monday evening show by explaining that the studio had been robbed and the thieves took off with two laptops and the director's slate. For those of you who don't know what a slate is, it's the thing that claps and has information that the editors usually need when cutting footage together. It includes the take number, the scene, the date, all that fun stuff. Its main purpose though is to sync up the audio and visual, which is why you slam the top part down when rolling the camera and sound. You know the thing that they're like, rolling, that's what they took. You could buy slates anywhere, really, especially in Hollywood at any souvenir shop. So the why they would take Conan's slate is beyond me. I mean, it's not like they could sell it because then you would know who the thief is. <laughs> Conan kicked off the show by explaining that quote, we came to this theater because we thought theaters are in trouble. Seemed like a nice thing to do. What happens? We get here this morning and we find out that someone broke into our little theater and took some of the equipment we used to make the show. We got robbed, Andy, robbed. Given that he can't have a live sit in an audience, the show cut out cardboard figures of guests and filled the seats with them, which Conan decided to use to his advantage. Joking about how crazy the whole situation is, he said, whoever broke in here had to stare at what I think is about 350 cardboard cutouts of exuberant fans in the eyes and say, hey, don't mind me, I'm gonna steal some shit. When speaking about the stolen slate, Conan said, they took that. That's the lowest. I can't think of anything lower. He's probably like, and that's a robbery. Clack. Okay, the laptop's fine. You took the slate? That's crazy. The laptops the thieves took off with were actually used for Conan to interview his guests as he was doing so through Zoom. However, all in all, they tried to find a silver lining and were able to find humor in it all as Conan joked, what happened to us? This kind of shit isn't happening to other big time late night shows. No one breaks into the Tonight Show and steals all the equipment. This would never happen to Kimmel or Fallon or any of those guys. We've become this garage band that drives around. We've got our van and we parked it in an alley and someone broke in and took our amps. What is that? This doesn't happen to other talk show hosts. What kind of new low is this for us? Man, just for the laugh alone, maybe it's worth it. Although it is awful that someone would break in and steal stuff, it's nice to see that Conan and the crew are safe and don't seem to be too torn up about their losses. Of course, the production has the money to buy everything back, but it's not even about the monetary value as it is just feeling violated that someone broke into your space and took your belongings. As of now, it's unclear how Conan is going to be moving forward with his show. Is he going to continue filming at the Largo or is he going back to Warner Brothers Studios? We'll have to wait and see how things play out. At the end of the day, thankfully, no one was hurt and I'm sure it won't be long before the thieves are caught. As always, guys, let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments down below. For now, let's do some comment replies from the video. Sasha Barrett Cohen, thanks Trump for this. Emma Oslin said, I think that Jared's costume is a mix of Dopey Doc and Santa Mix. But to answer your question, Jared, Grumpy Dwarf. Yeah, well, I don't know if I was grumpy on Monday. Yeah, I think I was. I was sleepy. I don't know. I was one of the dwarves. But today I'm not. You guys guess what I am today? <laughs> Diana said, who in the hell leans back when tugging in their shirt and who tugs it down and fiddles with it? Only creeps try to protect creeps. Yeah, I mean, if you see the movie, it think it's quite obvious what Giuliani was doing. Uh, I don't want to accuse him of anything. So I'm going to say maybe allegedly, because he's a lawyer. But it allegedly looked like he was doing some pretty disgusting stuff, is all I'm going to say. Sarah Davis said, thank you, Jerry, and everyone behind the camera. I love your costume. Thank you for acknowledging everyone behind the camera. We got producer Chris here. We got the homie Joss here. We got, what should I call you, the this, this, this set manager? Set manager? I think that's me. What the heck? I thought he was a producer. I don't know, I want to give you like a title. Okay, set manager. I want to give you like a serious title. I mean, I do have a serious title. Oh, he don't even know. Where's the respect? We got the best host in the game, <laughs> Lucy McPhee over here. 
<laughs> I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. You guys know I love you, but I go catch some Pokemon, so we'll see you soon. The laptop, the laptops the thieves took off with were actually used for Conan to interview his guests as he was doing. Th uh, the laptops the thieves took with the laptops the thieves took. Oh, the laptops the thieves took off with were actually used for Conan to interview his guests as he was doing so. I can't talk, bro. Too busy thinking about Pokemon. 